Michigan's top education leader is unhappy with some of the cuts in the state's recently passed budget. Now he's calling on the legislature to pass a supplemental budget to give more money to schools. El Myers is at the Capitol building in Lansing with a look at what he wants to see better funded. In recent years, Michigan has put a lot of money behind building out mental health resources for our schools. But in the next fiscal year budget, some of that spending is cut. It's a move our state superintendent says could stall some of our progress. We were hoping to continue the momentum, to continue the growth. And with the cut of this magnitude, 300 plus million dollars, that momentum will be stopped. It's not to suggest rollbacks, it's to suggest the inability to continue to build out and grow that helping professional workforce. According to the Michigan Department of Education, mental health and safety funding in fiscal year 2025 dropped from $491.8 million down to $136.7 million. This is not just children's mental health, it was school safety as well. It was the ability to put in physical improvements. Rice tells me this is funding that could have also gone towards improving the physical safety of schools through things like metal detectors and training for staff, students, and even parents too. You're trying to make more aware your entire school community of potential uh, children's mental health challenges, potential school safety challenges, it's really the notion that if you see something, say something, but it's also knowing what you're looking for in a peer who may be struggling. Now, Rice tells me he doesn't know for sure if lawmakers will be able to pass a supplemental budget to fill that gap, but he tells me he's hopeful. For now, reporting in Lansing, I'm Myers, CBS News, Detroit.